What's going on, everybody? Anthony Servino here from the Face Off Sports Network, and I'm going to tell you why. Darnell Mooney is a must-add on the fantasy football waiver wire. I get it. I get what you're saying. He's not available in my league. He was drafted in my league. Well, let's start here on Sleeper. As of this morning, he's only rostered in 66% of leagues, which means he's available in 34% of leagues. So there are plenty of leagues out there that may have Darnell Mooney still on the fantasy football waiver wire. How about Yahoo? And this is a tweet that Yahoo put out last night during the game. Darnell Mooney is only rostering 46% of Yahoo leagues. He's also benched by 56% of his managers this week. So this video may not apply to everybody, but maybe you can still get something out of it because this is also a situation where if you're a Darnell Mooney fantasy manager, this could be a sell high situation for you if you need help in other aspects of your fantasy team. But certainly when it comes to the waiver wire, this is an all-in scenario. Some people's waiver wires, you know, it goes by priority. Some waiver wires, it, you have to bid. If you need to bid to get Darnell Mooney, this is an all-in situation. I get it. You want to save a little bit over. This is an 80% of what you have left over to go get this wide receiver. Because what Darnell Mooney did last night, this wasn't a one-off. In fact, if you erase week one, and week one for the Falcons, it was a tough matchup against the Steelers. Um, not a lot went right for that offense. A big reason why is it was Kirk Cousins' first game coming off the Achilles. And in retrospect, because we can even rope in how bad Aaron Rodgers looked too. Although these guys are all pro veteran, pro bowl winning quarterbacks, they've been around for a very, very long time. The Achilles is a very serious injury. It was their first game. They're aging. Maybe in the back of their head, they had a little bit of self-doubt. After all, these players are still human. So nothing really went right for the Falcons in week one, including Darnell Mooney. Um, from weeks two to five, Darnell Mooney has given fantasy managers at least 14.6 PPR points in three out of the four games. The one game he didn't really do much week four against the Saints but he did draw six targets. So let's still focus on this four-game uh, sample size, including last night. Darnell Mooney has had six targets in all four games. He's had at least seven in three, at least eight in two. And last night, he obviously goes off for 16. We can't expect 16 targets every night, obviously, because there's a guy named Drake London. But during this time that Drake that Darnell Mooney is, is playing well. So is Drake London. Like Mooney, Dorna, uh, Drake London struggled in week one. But in the four games since, he's been a high floor player, at least 12.4 PPR points in every game, at least seven targets in every game. There's enough of firepower. There's enough opportunity in this Falcons offense for both Darnell Mooney and Drake London to thrive, which means... You can insert them both confidently in your fantasy football lineups. And it seems like when one does well, so does the other. The exception, week four against the Saints. That was the worst game since the season opener for Mooney, where he had 8.6 PPR points and six targets. That same game, week four against the Saints, it was the worst game for Drake London in the four-game period since week two. While he had 12 targets, he only had six for 64 as a receiver, 12.4 PPR points. So it seems like when one clicks, so does the other. And a big reason why is because of Kirk Cousins. He's playing with more confidence. He's playing with more confidence within this system. The offensive line is extremely good. There's a threat. Now, Bijan has yet to get going, but there is still a threat of 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 having to contain Bijan Robinson, so there are open passing lanes. Primarily, when it comes to 
Darno Mooney, Kyle Pitts had a good game last night. And while Kyle Pitts has a good game, nine times out of 10, the defense is going to try to focus on, all right, let's try to minimize London. Let's try to take out Pitts. Darnell Mooney is going to have a lot of really good fantasy outings because there is so much firepower on this team. What it reminds me of, think about the 49ers. Think about the San Francisco 49ers and how much juice they have when they're healthy. CMC, Debo, Kittle, Ayu, to a lesser extent, Jennings. Now, let's think about the Falcons. Drake London, Kyle Pitts, Darnell Mooney, B. John Robinson, to a lesser extent, Ray Ray McLeod. There are some parallels here that we need to start paying attention to. I'm not saying the Falcons are just going to be a juggernaut because we know the 49ers, when they're firing on all cylinders and they're healthy, this offense is unstoppable. But all offseason long, I was on this program saying, this Falcons offense is going to be really good. This is a top 10 offense in the making. And I get they got off to a slow start, but the signs were there. The personnel was there. The, the draft capital of their skill position players were there. Kirk Cousins and the addition of Zach Robinson, it was all there. It took a little bit of time to click. But last night, I think we saw the beginning of something special here with the Atlanta Falcons. And it could potentially continue if you look at some of these matchups, if you look at the division that they play in. You know, the Carolina, now Seattle is going to be tough. You get Tampa again in a few weeks. Uh, Dallas, the Saints in New Orleans, that could be an issue, as we know. Denver, that can be a problem. They're one of the best defenses in the NFL right now. But, you know, the Falcons could also be at a point in week 11 when they go to Denver that this offense might be unstoppable. And I think that's well within the range of outcomes. You know, look at the look at the playoff schedule for Darnell Mooney. When you look at from weeks 14 to 17 fantasy playoffs, Minnesota currently 30th against wide receivers, Vegas 17th, but they're a bad 17th, the Giants, and then week 17 fantasy playoff championship time, the Washington Commanders, the worst defense in the NFL when it comes to containing fantasy wide receivers. This is a all in, I'm going to say it again, an all in situation for Darnell Mooney, if he's on your waiver wire, I would go trade for Darnell Mooney before he pops again. It's going to cost you a little bit, but I want as many pieces of this offense as I can. Even Ray Ray McLeod, folks, even Ray Ray McLeod is giving us fantasy production this year. Um, it, it, you know, Back-to-back -back games for McLeod with over 11 PPR points. Obviously, he's the last man on pecking order. But even the last man on a pecking order has had three games this season with at least 11 targets. Kirk Cousins, one of the best distributors of the football in the NFL, especially when he's healthy and upright. And he's humming right now. If you have to pay a little bit extra, go acquire Darnell Mooney. Even go get a piece of Ray Ray McLeod. If your bench is deep enough on a waiver uh, in your fantasy league, go get Ray Ray in case one of these other guys gets hurt. And as I said earlier, if you are a Darnell Mooney fantasy manager, this is a sell high opportunity. Why is it a sell high opportunity? Because of what he has been giving us. I, I went over it earlier. Uh, three out of four games over 14 PPR points. He yeah, absolutely goes ballistic last night. So you might say to yourself, well, if I have him and you're telling everybody you need him, why do I want to sell him? This is only a sell scenario if you need help elsewhere. So if you're a Darnell Mooney fantasy manager, maybe you don't need him. Maybe you're loaded at wide receiver, but you need help at running back. Well, guess what? There is somebody in your fantasy league right now who has Cooper Cup, Puka Nakua, A.J. Brown who needs a wide receiver and Darnell Mooney coming off that pop game, 
they look at him as, wow, this is a guy I can use every week. I'm really desperate, uh, including myself. I play in a lot of leagues. One of my FFPC teams, I have A.J. Brown, Puka Nakua, Rushy Rice. I have all three. I'd love to have Darnell Mooney in that league. There's somebody sitting out there who is desperate for wide receiver help. And if you don't need Darnell Mooney and you need an upgrade at running back, if you need an upgrade at tight end with as dire as this position has been, Darnell Mooney is your sell high lottery ticket. That's going to do it for today. Go get Darnell Mooney. If he's available in your league on waivers, go all in. And if you have Darnell Mooney and you need help in another position, this is a prime sell high spot to go make your fantasy football team better.